Hey guys, Pete here with our little town and we are going to go drive down this nice little road to get to where we gotta go. And this road is definitely not a road that's very drivable, but I'm doing it anyways. Anyways, uh, I'm in Chippewa Falls. Uh, where I'm from and uh, we're just north of town here um, and back in the old days this town used to be a lumber uh, town um, before the railroads came through and um, where I'm gonna be stopping here is one of the starting points of the lumber yard so when I get right here, this is where it all begins. All right, so here's where it starts. Back in that area, back in there, that's a little, uh, this is what they call Duncan Creek. And it's uh, all dammed up. Right here is one of the original dams. And, uh, from that point back, just imagine all the trees that were in this area. And because of this dam, they had to build a, a lumber mill. And if you turn around, that right there, not my truck, that right there is part of it. So let's go take a look. All right, well, here's part of it. Uh, as you can tell, there's a, a mural of, you know, just some artwork here. Um, this was done last year uh, to commemorate the, uh, basically the, the destruction of this building. Because this year, uh, sometime this summer, this is all going to be gone. They're going to tear it down, start tearing it down the spring, and it's all going to make way for a park. So all this, all this area, this is all going to get ripped out and redone and make an actual park out of this. And it's all down that way. We'll go down that way here in a little bit, but let's, uh, Let's take a gander inside. Hopefully, I don't fall. It's all snow. We're we're in Wisconsin, and there's tons of snow up here. Right, here we go. Oh, so you can see there's graffiti in there. Oh, someone's got my last name there. All right, King Forever. But you can see the shell of what used to be. An actual sawmill. You know, this is this is pretty cool. Minus the graffiti, but all this at one time, way back in the I want to say late 1800s, this was all used. Like I said, a small little sawmill lumber mill Ooh, I don't want to get poked by those ouch those those are those look pretty sharp so I'll stay stay clear of this right here a lot of thorns in here but uh, yeah this is what's left of the old mill you can see all the well minus the graffiti but, I mean, you can just imagine, like I said, what this is, what this used to look like. And I'm trying to step through here with all the snow and everything, but you see, this is all the cast iron right here for the door. And I bet you this was a sliding door at one time, maybe. I don't know how that would work out, but yeah. And then 
here's what's left of this part right here. I don't know what this used to be. Maybe part of that right there. This right here at one time was up there. And it got knocked down from erosion maybe or or what, but okay, so I'm not gonna go down this way, but you can see you can see the dam over there. There's the Duncan Creek Dam. So yeah, this is all kind of grown over with a lot of thorny trees, I guess you can say. And yeah, this is this is kind of cool. You know, here's what it looks like up here. You know, remember this is all this is actually small compared to what it was before. So I do believe that this was way higher back in the day than what it looks like now. And you can kind of see that this is all lower than that. And I bet you, you can kind of see, I can kind of see right here, there's a little oh, spot right there. You see it, a little line. Maybe that's where the roof used to be. Right there, you can kind of see it. Let's see if we can zoom in closer. Yeah, there we go. See that little line right there? It goes all the way across. I bet you that's where the roof used to be. So, all right, let's go on the outside and take a further look at the surrounding building. Almost uh, didn't see this, but look at this. I bet you this used to be an old circuit box to run things. Yeah. And you can kind of see up here too. Yeah, this this is all a little lower than what the original building looked like. So I've seen pictures of it and the top part, the top half, I think that that was actually wood. Well, and then that part is missing. Huh. Let's see, you can see the the workmanship. This is all rock. This is, you know, that's all sand rock right there. And that's concrete trying to hold it all together. I can't really tell there, but you can tell right there that that's not a typical, uh, you know, put together a building type of setup. They don't build them like that nowadays anymore. It just looks like a bunch of rocks put all together and put concrete around it like this. Back in the day, they didn't have much ingenuity. You can see up there, there's a whole bunch of rocks on top of each other and that was a foundation. So, all right, let's go outside. All right, I'm outside and, well, the whole building's outside and there's no enclosure, so <laughs> kind of funny that way, but I mean, you can look and see how it was built. This is all how they built this building way back in the late 1800s during the uh, logging era. And on the other side of the creek there, that's a place called Irvine Park. And uh, that's another uh, vlog that I'll be doing at another date. But uh, so down this way, I don't know if I want to go down that way, but um, so here's some more rock or stones, foundations maybe from the building. But you can kind of, you can pretty much see how this building was built. You know, it was like slap some rocks together and put put uh, some cement around them and put another rock on top. So that's that's how this building was built back in the day. And sometime this year, we're thinking, I think it's like uh, late spring, they're gonna start tearing this building down. It's a lot of history 
in this area and this is one of them that a lot of people are going to be sad to see go but because it's it's a kind of a landmark type of thing but it's not a, a national landmark so they're just gonna tear this thing down and make all this down and over in this area all this is going to be a park so all right let's try going down this way hopefully it don't fall but oh my goodness and just to let everybody know up here in Wisconsin it's cold it's very cold there's a wind chill going on I mean it's like in the teens but the wind chill is uh, close to zero and my hands are getting kind of cold but that's right that's all right because I'm bringing you some information some kind of some history about our little town so all right we're down by the creek and it's gonna get colder I'm freezing my tanukas off but so uh, all right here's the creek and yes there's fish in here there's lots of fish mostly uh mostly uh small pike maybe some bass but uh so that's the dam the duncan creek dam now it's a little more uh well kept uh on the left hand side but i've seen pictures where that concrete part right there that's not even there that's just all rock just rock you know from the cliffs and that so later on i think after uh after the uh mill was closed down they built that little part right there for people to come down from up on top there just to kind of get a look at the the dam and and everything so but it's it's very beautiful down here and especially during the uh fall times when all the leaves change it's pretty nice but uh so imagine like i said up on top up there somewhere that uh, sawmill was connected to this dam and all those logs going over this dam some way shape or form or they just brought them down this way and they came to down here not really sure how they they worked it out but this is this is where the where it all started all that got built up up there with logs and it went through the mill and over the water it went and down the creek and it empties out into the Chippewa River which is uh, another vlog that we'll be doing as well but uh, up on top there uh, is Irvine Park that whole whole area this is all Irvine Park all the way back that way and all the way down that way it's it's a big park and that's a, a scenic uh, overlook so people when it's not cold out and I think uh, they got that closed off up there but uh, during the spring summer and fall people will go up there and take pictures of the background of that and it's it's pretty nice and then uh, down that way uh, there's actually a natural spring uh, that comes down that way. There's a little, little uh, creek. You can kind of see, you see a frozen remnants right there. And it all, oh, sorry about that. It all comes down that way and into here. And it comes down this way. So those, all this water, all this water goes down that way and it leads right into the Chippewa River and that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna try walking up this way my hands are cold like I said it's Wisconsin it's February it's still winter and I can see right there there's a pink tag 
pink ribbon. I think that's uh, a marker for what they're gonna do to this area. This is all gonna be chopped down and redone. This is all gonna be park area. You know, people uh, do picnics and whatnot. So it's gonna be kind of nice, but like I said, you know, tearing down that old building, that's gonna be pretty uh, pretty sad to see that go. So yeah, uh, I think that's about it for me for today. So, on that note, have a good day. Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to kind of do a little correction on, on this building here. Now this building was the back end of the building and it stretched from there all the way down this way. So all this here, we can imagine big huge building for all the saw milling and all the cutting and everything and the, all that stuff that's what was going on right right here it's all gone now obviously and it's all that's left is this building right here which unfortunately it's going to be demolished uh sometime this year so um it's sad to see it go but it is what it is it's about progress and all that's gonna be a park now. So uh, on that note, thank you for watching and subscribe and hopefully uh, I can do some more videos here soon, but it's not too darn cold. <laughs> so, all right, thank you very much. Bye.